Welcome to the Resource Data Management video library. In this video, we will show you how to use our Data Builder software to create a basic program. The Data Builder software is free to download from the Resource Data Management website. Also available from our website is documentation and we can also provide training at no additional cost. So let's begin. Once the Data Builder application software has been installed, run up the application. A floating toolbar allows the user to select different blocks, add text to the program, zoom in, zoom out and various other functions. By right clicking on the back of the palette you can select the settings option. Here you can define the host device on which the TDB program will run. There's various options to select from being Data Manager, Intuitive Controller, Plant Controller and in Mercury Intuitive Controller. Select the appropriate host on which the TDB program will run. A description can be entered in for the program. this description it can then be saved and attributed to the TDB program you have created. Firstly, right click on the select block icon. I'm going to select an analog input block which will be used to map in a temperature probe for the outside ambient air. By right clicking on the block and going to properties, I can give the block a description Assign units and then map in the location of the probe based on the controller hardware. In this scenario, input probe 1 has been used and probe type has been set to a PT1000 sensor. The board option allows you to select probe inputs from the main intuitive controller or from one of the expansion boards found elsewhere depending on your application. Click OK to save the changes. The next block that we require in our selection will be a mathematical block. And in this instance we will use less than. By left clicking on the output we can select and drag a line to the input of the less than block. Now we have an analog input mapped to a temperature probe being fed to a less than block. We need a comparison which will activate the digital output when the analog input falls below a set point. By selecting a setting block we can now add a set point to compare against our ambient temperature. By editing the properties of the setting block, we can change the text to match that of the block's function. A value can be added as our comparison. In this example, we will use the value of 5. The units that can be assigned will be degree C, and the min and max values must be entered to determine the minimum and maximum value that the setting block can be assigned. Now we require from the functional section an alarm block. Again by left clicking on the output of the less than mathematical block we can draw a line between it and the alarm block to create a connection. The alarm block has a digital input and an associated analog input which is the alarm delay. 
an alarm delay if required would use a setting block. Again, connecting the setting block to the alarm block will allow us to add a delay before an alarm is generated. Enter the text to describe the setting block. Enter the value for the delay that you require. In this example, we will select 60. Then the units for this application will be seconds. If we look at the properties for the alarm block, we can edit the text with the appropriate description. In this example, low temp warning has been entered. The alarm index can be set between the value of 1 and 32 and relates to the data manager alarm indexes and actions. Finally, from the I.O. selection, we will use Digital Out. This allows us to act upon one of the relay outputs on the device in question. Again, a joining line between the alarm output block and the digital output. Viewing the properties of the digital output, text can be added to describe the digital output. In this example, we will assign sounder. Again, the destination output can be selected by highlighting board. If there's any expansion boards in use, they can be selected and then an appropriate relay output on that device or expansion board. By right clicking on the background, we can show names to show the text entered for each block. We now have our complete TDB program. The ambient outside air temperature is being compared to a set point of 5 degrees C. When the ambient air temperature falls below 5 degrees C, the output of the less than block will be active. This in turn will activate the alarm block and after a 60 second delay, a network alarm will be generated and the output of the alarm block will be active. This in turn will energize relay number one of the intuitive controller. This provides a run signal to the boiler for the premises being monitored.